Well, uh, there's a famous uh, photograph of uh, my grandma uh, where she was just able to escape from the wall being built last minute. I don't think people really realised that the wall was something that evolved over time. So in 1961, it started out just as barbed wire that was laid out across the street. Fast forward 20 years into the future, and it's a completely militarised border. So to be able to use VR to chart that evolution and sort of plant yourself in front of the wall and be there through that iteration felt like quite a powerful thing to do. There's a huge potential in factual storytelling, and it feels like we are on the sort of cusp if you like, of a new way of engaging people in history, a new way of engaging people in documentary. Um, my grandfather is one of the builders of the Tunnel 57. Seeing my grandfather dig in the tunnel was really weird. I mean, like, back when he was doing that, he was probably around my age. He was so close to me in that moment that I was actually like, I, I would have loved to talk to him. Using hundreds of uh, pictures from the period, we were able to reconstruct a 3D model uh, using Maya of the particular areas that we were rebuilding. Um, this was then textured, it was lit uh, according to all the data that we could get, so colour information, even you know what the weather was like on the day. Uh, the most impressive thing to see uh, looking into my grandma's eyes when I was standing on the street with her. I've seen some pictures before for sure, but not uh, colorized and also not on a you know eye level thing. Really, really crazy in a, in a really, really good way. <laughs> to reconstruct the people in the scene because obviously you're starting with a 2D image which you have to turn into a 3D object so the people have to be 3D as well. Uh, we scanned actors wearing the correct period clothing. Uh, we then took them into a computer program again, into Maya. We cleaned them up, we textured them, we coloured them to look as authentic as possible. The scene on the death strip as well, I think that was the biggest shock to me, that one, because even though I'd studied um, the Berlin Wall, I'd studied the Cold War, none of that really told me, like, the scale of it, the size of it. What was really impressive was that I didn't know that the wall was that high, like when I was staying right in front of it, it was really intimidating. Being able to be there, to be in the scene in that moment is incredibly exciting and I think makes you connect to history in a completely new way and I think that is the essence of what this project is all about. It was uh, really, really scary at one point um, because it, to me it was just a picture till that day I was involved in that project. I could now really understand the whole emotions that were in the picture and I can really see and feel some more emotions um, my grandmother um, must have had back then. <laughs>